Right here, pal. Right here. You think you bad, huh? Oh, no. No, no, no. 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 I'm stuck. I can't get out. Tell me dealing with the stress. Tell me dealing with the pain. Get in trying to find a way. Because I just want to be alive. Because I don't think that I just want to go and die today. But I used to think to myself. Yeah. What's up? What's down? What is all around? What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Groovy Grizzly, back with another video. And I'm sorry that I didn't upload anything last week. For those of you that are new, I was out of town all week last week. I'm in the process of looking for a new place to live. I'll be moving to a different state. So I was doing that. So I didn't have any time or any chances to record or edit any videos. But we're back. That's all that matters. And today we got a good solid, solid video for you today because I got some juicy plans as always. So I think when we last left off, we had just tamed Fran right there. And we also tamed Iggy and Alpha on the last episode. So if you missed that, go ahead and check the playlist. Go back and look at some of those videos because that's some good, good, good shit. All right. All right. Anyway, so one of the plans that I want to do today, one of the things I want to do today is I actually want to go out and try to find a high level pterodon to tame today. And also maybe, just maybe, I mean, it would either be a pterodon or an Argentavi. Let's see what level this bad boy is here. Yeah. Oh, wrong button. Level five. Garbage. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and hop on Iggy because that's our current traveling mount. If you don't know why she's a traveling mount, well, I'm about to show you because she is fast as fuck, boys. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go out. We're going to try to find the Pterodon. Later on, I don't know, I might just not tame a Pterodon, I might tame an Argentava, maybe. Let's see what level we are. We are level 63, so I could make a, a Trank Rifle, some Trank Bullets, and go tame that, but I'm not entirely sure yet. But let's go run around, let's go look and see what we got, and see if we can find a Pterodon to tame, boys. Oh, I see another Raptor over here. What, rap what level is that Raptor? 45, don't need it. Don't need it. If I can find a high level t uh, raptor or something, I can do the caves. Come on, boy. What you got? What you got? You ain't got nothing. You ain't nothing. So if I can find a high level raptor, I do plan on taming it because I need some kind of high level dino to do the first cave with. And hopefully I'll be able to do that on this video as well. 55, 35. Time to die, boys. You want some of this? I got two thumbs for you. Oh yeah, who's got two thumbs and can kick your ass? This guy! Punk asses. We're gonna go, ooh, we got two levels with Iggy. We're just gonna pump it up into movement speed because that's what we've been putting it into. If you missed the last episode, in case you don't know, in my personal opinion, Iguanodons are probably the fastest mounts you can have in this game. Overall, like I'm aware that a Gallimimus is much faster, but Gallimimus have stamina. And if you're on all four on an Iguanodon, you don't use any stamina. Which means that in my mind, at least, or at least to me, they're faster. Come here, compies. You don't want none of this. You're not going to learn your lessons. Like, seriously. You can't mess with the king, baby. Oh, is there one more? Oh, you little bastard. You little bastard. How dare you. How dare you. Let's kill these guys, too. Let's get the XP. Hey. Stop picking on that thing. Come on. Come fight me, boys. Come on, all four of y'all. Oh, look, there's that Alpha T-Rex still over there. Because I haven't messed with them. Where am I going to? At least not yet. Time to die, boys. Time to die. All right. Oh, there's a dead Dodo here. Did you do this? Did you do this, you little bully? Oh, you're going to get this. You can get these thumbs right here. Right in your butt. Right in that ass. Oh, what's happening down here? And, and he's out. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so let's see what level some of these dinos are. Iggy, 60. Therizino's level 40. Okay. So nothing over here, so let's keep looking. So, oh, oh, shit. Well, we can outrun them. I know that for sure. Oh. There's a bunch of pterodons across the river there. Level 5, 5, 35, 25. Damn it. 
A 145 Dire Bear. What? Nice. 70. Level 5. Piece of shit. Oh, look at those little bastards. Holy crap. Why is there so many of them? Oh. Time to fight. Here we go. I wonder why he's not attacking. Oh boy. Allosaurus versus Trodon. Who's going to win? Oh, it looks like those Trodons are going to kick his ass. No way. Wow. <laughs> he got his ass kicked. That's great. I love that. What level is that alpha? 50 alpha raptor. What level are we? 150. Hmm. Just leave it alone. Oh, a T-Rex. A white T-Rex at that. Level 40. What level is that? Sarco. Level 80 or Spino, not Sarco. Look at all those terror birds over there. Little bastards. Will you fuck off, you little bastards? Thank you. Do you really want some? Do you really want some? Oh shit. Got a blast. Scorpapanos. What's up, Scorpapanos? Oh, you wanna die? You wanna die, you little tramp? Throw some shit at the monkey. Come on now. I'm just sit there and stare at them. You bastard. Hey, we leveled up. Let's do movement speedo. Oh boy. Got a blast. You gotta kind of be careful through here because those little things that bury themselves into the ground are usually over here. Whoa, I've never noticed this was right here. What is this one? Oh, there it is. See? Look. Little bastards. Just what I was... I was literally just talking about them. Perlovia. Little punk bitches. I like to just dismount you and kill you because they're assholes. What's this one? I've never seen this one. That's cool. That's a Nerva note. I appreciate it. All right, let's do some more movement speed. Question. Hey, hey, I'm walking over here. I'm walking over here. Rude ass. 15. Come on. Will you fuck off? What level are you? Huh? Huh? Do you really need to bother me? I'm working, man. I'm working. I don't know what level he is. Let's see what level he is. Real quick. Excuse me, guys. Coming through. Watch out. What level are you, bud? That's the level 90. Damn. You know what? You know what? You're now mine, bitch. Go to sleep, Mr. 90 overall. Ha <laughs> ha! Luckily, those guys are really easy to put to sleep, so... Transfer, transfer, transfer. Hopefully that guy leaves me the fuck alone. Here you go. Alright. Too bad that Perlovia isn't over there. Somebody decided to fucking eat him. Thanks, asshole. Could have got some prime meat out of that thing. You douchebag. It is what it is, though. Look, like there's another guy over there landing. Where are you, bud? <gasps> oh! Change your plans, 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 change your plans. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got a new one. We got a banger for you today. Let's go. One, two, three, four. You should be asleep by now. No way. Five. Thank you. Hopefully that RG will go away. I'm going to run over here. Grab this meat off of this guy and run back the other way and just leave this guy to his demise. That is great. I like the color on this one, too. Uh, yeah, other than those RGs, I don't really see. Aw, oh, damn it. Fucking T-Rex, man. You know what? I'm going to have to go take him out. Come on, gang. Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Oh shoot, I need to run. I need to run. Oh boy. Let's go, y'all. Let's go, team! Fuck him up, team! Kick his ass! There's no way. I'm gonna die. Oh yeah, I'm dead. 
run, 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 run. Holy crap. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Oh shit. Oh man. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Kick his ass. 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 Yes. Come this way. Come this way, you ugly bastard. Yeah. Come eat my flesh and bones. Come on. Yeah. Come at me. Come on. Yeah, eat that parasol right there. Yeah. Good job. All right, now we run back this way. Dang, that thing was stronger than I thought. Holy cow, look at all this stuff he killed. What a savage, man. What a freaking savage. Randy Savage. I'm gonna gather these guys. All right, and I guess we're just gonna play the waiting game at this point. Hey, you know what? Maybe... I saw Carno down here. Maybe we can kill that Carno. I know this thing's strong enough to kill Carnos, depending on what level they are. Where is he? There he is. What level are you, big ugly? 15. Oh yeah, we can definitely kill him. What up, buddy? Come on. Come on. Hit me with your best shot. Come on, hit me with your best shot. Oh, I thought he dismounted me for a second. Scared me. Alright. Now, we get the meat. Get this prime meat, baby. Come on, give me more. Give me more. Yeah, four. Come on, come on. Give me more. Five. Yeah. Yeah, six. Yes. Seven. Eight. Come on with it. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's make our way back up there. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I fucking hear you, you douchebag. I thought you were gone. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's go. Here's some prime meat for you. The other one might already be woken up, actually. And it is. All right, let's get it to follow us. Come on with it, buddy. What am I going to do with these pterodons? I have no clue. Ew, and she's awake. All right, we're not going to name her quite yet. What we're going to do is we're going to get both of them to follow us, and then we're just going to go back to base, and then we will name her once we are back over there. Let's run. All right, and we're home, boys. All right, let's go ahead and land them there. Oh, crap. I forgot about that little detail, but it's fine. <laughs> they all moved over there. Let me re-put them back together where they're supposed to go. All right, so I got some... I put the uh, animals back to where they're supposed to go to. I went ahead and got some materials. What we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and craft two of the pterodon saddles, which you need... Uh, we can't craft two, so we can only craft one. So we're going to craft one of the... One of the pterodon saddles, and then we'll craft the other one later when I have a little bit more chitin or keratin. All right, so somehow, so this one's level 134. That one was 194, but I went ahead and put a point into its weight so it can carry me in a little bit more. The weird thing is both of these have literally the same weight, which is kind of weird. i surprised by that. But we're going to put the saddle on this bad boy right here. On this bad girl, I should say. Bang! There she blows. They're also both fiend males, so I'm going to name this one Peeny, and I'm going to name this one Piney. And what I'm going to do is, I'm probably going to use this one here as my all-purpose, and she's just going to be... Oh, I didn't know I could throw that down on the ground. She's going to be my weight carrier until I get an Argentavi, because I have really, literally no reason to have two of them. It's just kind of like how it panned out, so... It is what it is. All right. Good morning. Well, it's actually like probably good afternoon at this point. I've been doing some chores running around the house. I put it cleared out their inventory because I was looking kind of messy because I forgot to do it when I got off last time. And I went ahead and made some metal because I know we're going to need a good bit of it. So I just have a little bit, not a lot. I need to get an inky so that way I can make more metal. Got the thing on there. I actually found some more chitin and keratin. So I went ahead and made the other saddle for this bad girl right here so now she has one as well i pumped some points into her health i wanted to get it over a thousand and now i'm gonna go ahead and put into her weight all right so now we're gonna go out on one of our pterodons and we're gonna try to go ahead and get this bad girl leveled up oh somebody just pooped we're gonna try to get her weight up to about 250 and then after that we're just gonna try to pump up her stamina as much as we can and then after that i think i'm gonna do some of these loot drops because i need some stuff that i just simply don't have and i don't like to waste resources making primitive crap so I'm going to get that done and over with. And once that's complete, I'm going to start scouting out for a better carnivore so we can go ahead and do the first cave on this map. I'm going to go ahead and grab this box. 
Oh, thank you. We are gonna pump up her weight. We wanna get that bad boy to about 250. Hello, T Rex. Kill this Come on, Alpha! Bring it on, sucker! I got something for you right here. Right here, pal. Right here. You think you bad, huh? Oh, no. No, no, no. 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 I'm stuck. I can't get out. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, then, you little bastard. Jeez, Louise. I was, like, completely stuck inside of him. I need to get water real quick. Let's go ahead and get that real fast. Thank you. Much needed. Much needed H2O, baby. You know what? We're just going to leave that alpha alone over there. I think we're going to try to deal with this Carno instead. Come on. I think, I think we can take him on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Throw shit at him. Throw shit at him. Good boy. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Getting that XP. Oh, crap. I need to land up here <laughs> so I can eat. I got pretty damaged somehow. Oh, no, I didn't damage at all. I was just hungry. Okay, cool. Oh, it's because I'm cold. All right. All right. So we got that weight up to 252. So the next thing that I like to get on these bad boys and girls is going to be stamina because they're fast enough as it is. They're the fastest birds you can get on the island. So now you just got to pump up the stamina so that way you don't have to stop as often. And these are the best scouts, hands down, hands down. I know I said the Iguanodon are great scouts, but when I said that, they're the best scouts on the ground, hands down, the Iguanodon. In my personal opinion, they're the best ones. But when it comes to all around the best, it's going to be the Pterodon. There's nothing faster and there's nothing better to scout around the map and try to find more dinos. Hey, maybe, just maybe, I could kill that sucker over here. All right, so I think I'm gonna just try to kill this Alpha Raptor. Throw shit at him. Okay, this ain't gonna work either. He's doing too much damage. Man. Let me just chill for a second. He's gonna make his way up here. Yep, I knew it. Fucking bastard. Come on. Let me do the... Yeah, there we go. Come on with it. Come on with it, big boy. Come on with it, big boy. Alright, this is gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna sit here and peck at his face for a bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, oh, oh my god, look how close that is, oh my god, holy shit, man, I shit you not, my, my heart is in my stomach right now, oh my god, I thought I was gonna die. Holy cow. Wow. Okay. Well, we got two really good axes. Too bad one of them wasn't a pickaxe, but hey, I'll take what I can. All right. Now I'm just going to sit here and try to buff up his health a little bit because it's really, really low. Let's go ahead and put on nine points of stamina and I'll be back once I have his health all the way back up. That's crazy. Where's that T-Rex? Just ran away. Little bitch. Is that, is that it right there? I think that is it right there. Come on, big boy. Come on, big boy. Let me eat that booty -o. Let me eat that booty -o. My, oh my. Stem. Oh, he's almost dead. Yeah, let's go. She, it, whatever it is. Let's go. There you go. 
Sweet! Alright, I went ahead and killed this T-Rex. I needed the meat. So, they're good at killing T-Rexes. It's just the Alpha T-Rexes are just a pain in the butt. They're also a lot faster, and I feel like their turn radius is quicker as well sometimes. Oh, what is that? Oh, what egg is that? Oh, it's a T-Rex egg. Nice! Alright, so we're back in the hunt here. We're trying to find pretty much anything that I can use in a cave. It could be a saber tooth. It could be... I think it could be a terror bird. It could be anything. Level 80. That's not bad. Not bad at all. So, you kind of have to be careful on this side of the island. Because micro raptors love to just jump on you over here. So, you kind of got to be careful with that. Probably should have checked to see what level this guy was before I decided to attack him. Uh, level 40. Oh, yeah, we can kill him. What level is the other one? Level 115. Okay, that one might be a little tougher to kill. And I'm positive that one of those rocks right there might be a Perlovia. That looked kind of fishy to me. I guess not. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. What you got? Just shake that ass, bitch. Let me see what you got. Just shake that ass, bitch. Oh, here we go. This fucking guy. Come on. Come on, die before a micro raptor comes over here. There we go. Fucking bastards. I hate those things so much, man. No one likes you, alright? You're like that kid from school that no one likes because you're an asshole, alright? Okay. So I really want to get that drop right there, but I'm terrified of going into the redwood forest because of Thalicolios and other things. But it looks like we're safe here. I think we're in a good spot. Hey, that's not bad. I'll take that. I'll take that. I don't know why there's a Bezel Bufo saddle in there because there's no Bezel Bufo in this map. But hey, I'll take that. Body armor. Heck yes. Let's go. That's a nice chest piece. Uh, looks like a couple of raptors over there. Let me turn this a little bit so I can see a little better. Um, 85, 5, 10. Lame. Lame! Oh, look at these two. Look at these. Oh, there's three of them. Look at this, man. Now, imagine being on the ground and just seeing that flying above you. That looks so cool. That's dope. That's dope. I like that. 145 that's not bad that's not bad i don't know if i can tame that but that's not bad we'll try yeah come on buddy you need to throw poop at them slow them down a little bit there you go that worked four come on i know you're coming boom <laughs> got your ways 11. Okay, please don't pass out in the water. I heard something. <laughs> oh man, he might pass out in the water. That's not good. Okay, he's coming back. He's coming back. <laughs> just go to sleep, bud. I just realized I might actually not have enough arrows for this guy. Oh, I don't. Damn it. Wait, do you have any arrows on you? No. Damn it. And I can't pick him up either. That blows. Uh, okay, change of plans. We gotta go get. Oh, we gotta go get more arrows. Here we go. We'll get arrows, and then maybe along the way we'll stop and get some of these drops that are coming down because it's easier to see it in the night. So we'll see. I'm freezing. Why am I freezing? Hey, that's not bad actually because I need one of those. Sweet. Oh, is that a red drop? Oh, that's a red drop. Oh, oh, it's in the fucking tundra. Never mind. <laughs> we'll fly to this green one, though. Don't know what's in it. I'm just grabbing it and going. All right, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go try to get that red drop. Wow, my health is depleting pretty quickly. Yeah, I think we're safe. Oh, nice. A Sarko saddle and a Deodon saddle. I don't think I really need a Deodon saddle right now, but... Good to have. It's actually not a bad saddle either, so. Yay! 
Okay, I think we're gonna try to make a move and try to get that yellow drop next. And we ain't going down if it's in the swamp. Oh no, it's in the it's in the water though. Oh, this is like where that alpha was. Yeah, this is where the alpha is. Question is, is it is it a good idea to try to get this bad boy? Super dangerous. I think actually the alpha went the other way. But I do believe there will be some piranhas from the Amazon in here. You know what? Fuck it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Guns up, let's do this. Ah! Fucking piranhas. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good find. Oh shit, but we might die. I don't know if this piranha keeps pushing me. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come this way. All right, we survived. <laughs> Not by much, but we survived. Oh, man. That was sketchy. But heck yeah, dude. We got a freaking Ascendant Rifle. Totally worth it. 1,000% worth it. That's a really good find. Really good find. All right, sun's coming up. Let's run back home and drop off some of this goodies that we found. All right, and we are home. I'll put some of this junk away. Okay, so I'm thinking change of plans, right? So now that we have this rifle, I think this is the perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and tame an Argentavi. Now I know, I know, I know, I know. I already have two other birds. However, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna use these two puppies. Maybe not this one. This one's probably gonna be useless. Maybe, maybe this can be my fighter. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we need an RG. RG is going to help us carry a lot of stuff. It's going to make a lot of taming much, 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 much easier. So we're still going to use Penny or Pene. That's Penny. Piney? Penny. Oh, man. I'm, I gave it a name that I, I don't even remember anymore now. I think that's Piney. Penny. So, <laughs> so we're going to still use Penny as a scout. So Penny's still going to be used pretty often. But the RG is something that I really want to go ahead and get. We have the resources needed for it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and build some and get some ammo done. So that way I can make some trank bullets. And then we're going to go out and get ourselves a first RG. All right. So to be able to make the bullets, what you're going to need is you're going to need some metal. You're going to need some spark powder and you're going to need some gunpowder. And to make gunpowder is the reason why you need the spark powder. So that way you can turn it into gunpowder. You need coal as well. So you want to make sure that you have enough coal saved up. So if you're playing this game and you're playing along and you're early on in the game, do not, do not throw away your coal because you need that to be able to make ammo. All right. So don't do it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out. I need to get a bunch of flint because I have literally next to no flint. So I'm going to go grab some of that. I'm going to go grab it probably with Neebs. Neebs. And we're going to come back and make our ammo. Okay, so I went ahead and made some spark powder over inside, inside of the mortar and pestle. And now we're going to come over here and make the bullets. I have this going with nothing in it just because I need more charcoal because I honestly didn't have much of any. So that way we can make more spark powder so I can make more ammo because honestly, I don't think this is going to be enough to be able to knock out the RG. So to make the bullets is real simple. You just into your smithy, you go into weapons, ammo, and it's all going to be listed right here, just depending on how the settings that you have it for it is. So as you can see, I don't have that much metal prepped, but it's fine. I'm going to try to wing it. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to go grab some a little bit. All right, let's go get some metal, Iggy. Buzz off, bud. Thank you. I like the blue to him. 145? Oh, shoot. A scorpion. Go away, scorpion. You little bastard. Go away, scorpiano. Scorpipanos. It's starting to bleed. And he's dead. Man, I hope you stay alive for a while because I'm, def I'm definitely coming back to tame that sucker right there. Heck yes. Almost heaven, West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, excuse me, Mr. Raptor, you can't catch me, I'm faster than the sea, older than a mountain, running like a stream, country road, as you can tell, I don't know the lyrics to the song, so they can't monetize me or demonetize me. We are running, we're too fast, even when we're overcumbered, little bitches can't keep up and we're out of here.
All right, and while we are waiting on our metal to be made and for us to get more charcoal, we're going to go ahead and put this feeding trough somewhere. Boom. There we go. And now I'm just going to put everything in here. And bang. There we go. Kind of put the berries at the front. Give them a nice balanced diet. Yellow drop. Please be something good. Uh, not terrible, I guess. Whatever. Okay, so I kind of came up here with the bird because I was kind of killing some scorpions and stuff because I need chitin. And I saw an alpha raptor down here somewhere. So I think I'm going to go ahead and kill our second alpha raptor of the day. Get some kind of XP thing. Here's one right here. Zoomy. Oh, look at that. It's a pterodon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There he is. He's a little bitch. Then we're gonna kind of land right here and he's gonna come right at us and we're kind of like at a leverage point here okay take that back he just ran right up here but we're gonna kick his ass all right let's spam this this might take a second go all right look at that 11 points boys let's go and we also got a ramshackle crossbow which is really good and just an apprentice hatch dang it i was really hoping i was going to get a pickaxe out of that too bad i did not i'm gonna boost up this stamina let's go okay so we got our ammos completely done and over with i think i have enough ammo to be able to take down the rg i have about 30 something and I have my rifle, I have the trap ready to go. Other than the yellow drop that you guys saw, I did go and get a green drop that happened to have this armor in it. So that's why I'm wearing a new set of armor. It's nothing special, it's just the regular, basic, primitive armor, the hide armor, that's all it is. So we're gonna take our rifle, we're gonna pop that sucker down there, and we made 34 trank arrows. We're gonna pop the trank arrows in there. We have our RG trap ready to go and the reason why i was getting chitin and keratin was because i needed to make a saddle for the rg and that's already good to go so now what we're going to do is we're going to hop on pen eight and i have a argentavi already picked out for me to tame up oh, there he is right there so we're going to set the trap right here i think right here is safe same thing as before just put these down let's see I think these are good. Worst comes to worst, we can kind of run away from them. I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and pull out my gun right there. Bang! What a shot. Let's go. All right. Now he's coming at us. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to whistle uh, passive on everything. We're going to let him hit us probably. Probably have to. Put that down and we got him trapped real simple just like that now he's in our trap and he's ours to shoot at we just got to kind of keep looking around because this is kind of a little bit of a high dangerous area but not too bad it shouldn't take a lot to put him down i mean this is a really good rifle we got really lucky finding an ascendant rifle so this bad boy shouldn't take that long to to knock out i just got to keep looking my surroundings and he's out. Look at that. It took it through like four shots only. Super simple. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I still have some prime meat in here. I sure do. So we're going to grab this prime meat and we're going to put it in this sucker. Here you go, buddy. All the prime meats for you. And I'm probably going to go out and grab some more because I think it's going to rot out before, before he has to wake up. Right here. This guy. We're going to kill this guy because they give prime meat. So, Boom. There you go. Boom, there you go, buddy. All right, now we're just gonna wait until the male RG is awake and, oh boy. 
man. I literally said something about like, oh, you gotta watch your surroundings. You gotta watch your surroundings. I would fly away, but I, I literally, I literally can't because if I do, he's gonna try to attack the RG, and we don't want that. Get out of here. Take him out into the uh, ocean here. Look at all those fish. Oh, and he's awake. Let's go. All right. So he goes up to level 172. Man, I don't know why, but I really like the color on this sucker, man. He looks really cool. I usually hate these different color looking ones, but this is pretty cool. I generally just like a plain white, like all white RG. I think those look so cool. But yeah, this one's pretty dope, man. I really like it. Let's check out its stats. This isn't bad. This is kind of shit. This is actually really shit, in my opinion. This is actually pretty good, and that's pretty much it. And it's got a solid amount of stamina. So not terrible. I generally want an RG that can carry a lot of weight. That's literally all I care about in an RG on single player, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll roll out with it. So I just realized as I flew over here and as I was about to call it a day, that we haven't named this gorgeous creature. And I also noticed that it actually has a blue mohawk on the top. So if you know, if you've been watching these videos since day one, you know there's only one possible name I could give this sucker. Apps row, baby, let's go. Sweet, and I feel like this is like a perfect spot to just call it at right here. We got ourselves a beautiful Argentavis kick ass i mean look at the colors on this thing it looks absolutely awesome but if this is your first time seeing the video and you enjoyed the video you're enjoying the content even if i made you laugh a little bit please make sure you hit that like button and if you've been here several times this is your third video into the channel please make sure that you smash that subscribe button that'll help me out a lot it'll make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside and as always hope you have a kick-ass day hope you smash the day absolutely kill it with whatever it is that you're doing also, if this is the first time seeing these videos, I do plan on posting ARC videos every once or twice a week. For now, I'm not totally sure because I am in the process of moving to a whole different state. So the schedule's looking a little funky. And if you've been here since day one and you've noticed that I went from posting five videos a week and I've gone to once or twice a week, it's simply because this is a small channel. I don't want to post out that much content out there and only a few people see it. So I'm going to gradually pick up the pace and post more and more content as things go along. So don't you dare be sour. But one more time, have a kick-ass day. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you guys next time. In the yard. Meow, 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 meow,